Halo teman-teman, perkenalkan nama saya Nafal Ashadad. Hello friends, my name is Nafal Ashadad, DJP fellow from Indonesia. I will raise the theme of obstacles in obtaining employment opportunities for persons with autism. As persons with autism, they still experience many misunderstandings. So when they grow up and it's time to find a job, this has its own difficulties. We have two interviewees, Hussein and Faisal. They will tell us about their efforts in getting the job they want. M. Atariq Hussein, an Indonesian musician with autism wearing a red shirt, speaks with students in a music classroom. Hussein and Nofal Ashidad, a DJP filmmaker wearing a green shirt, sit on a couch. I am currently with Muhammad Atariq Hussein. He is a person with autism who was born on January 26, 2000. So he's already 22 years old. He has a talent in music and he has many achievements in the field of music. Hussein sings into a microphone in the music classroom. Of course, there's the obstacle that is not just about majoring in music. I just don't know what is. When I was in school, I wasn't taught about musical notes. I learned them all by myself. Learning by myself, according to my ability, learning it individually. In a real college, as I was told by my teacher, Mr. Harsono, you won't be able to study there. Hussein drums on a black drum set in the corner of the classroom. How is it that I won't be able to? You will be asked the formula, asked about musical notes. You'll be asked about musical writing, notation, things that we don't actually study. We don't have those facilities, neither at public school or back at junior high school, to learn that. If studies mean going back to school, I don't want to. There are also obstacles in attending lectures, because right now, accommodations are only for those with hearing impairments, the blind, and those with physical disability. Regardless of their physical conditions, their brain is non-disabled, while those with autism and psychological disabilities, despite having a non-disabled body like you, they have different learning needs, you know? That's very unfortunate. In Indonesia, those are the only accommodations. We have our own obstacle. Hussein plays the drums. That's why I don't want to go back to college. Studying music, right? I don't want to, because there are obstacles. Not really obstacles, maybe, to be more precise. I don't know what musical notes are. I don't know what they are. They will be asked about two formulas, just like in math. That will be asked about too. Mohammed Faisal Hakim, an Indonesian entrepreneur with autism, crouches on a tile floor, wiping hard-boiled eggs in a plastic bowl with a yellow cloth. Faisal and his mother, an Indonesian woman wearing a red hijab, sit on a couch with Ais Shadad. I am currently with Budai Shri Murni and Faisal. Now, Faisal is also a person with autism who is 25 years old, huh? Six. 26 years old, yes. He has turned 26 years old. Now he is an autistic person who is an entrepreneur. Faisal finishes cleaning an egg and moves it from one bowl to another. There are many obstacles, no fall, yes. At school, maybe he can't follow the instructions of the principal. How to be like this must be like that. Faisal has no idea of such, like that. Faisal grinds cloves of garlic using a mortar and pestle. But as a parent, even before Faisal joined them, I was already trying to make sure to have something for him to do at home, which is making salted eggs. Faisal continues cleaning eggs. 
He once signed up at Badenjuona, a fish restaurant, at the suggestion of Mrs. Emanuela. You know her? She worked there. Faisal finishes scrubbing the final egg and then turns to grab his mortar and pestle. Faisal also took tests, psychological tests, these tests. It turned out that some of them were willing to accept him, but some others were not. Why? Because it made Faisal miss his regular schedule, such as praying time. Faisal scoops crushed chili out of his mortar and mixes it into liquid in a plastic tub. A close-up of Faisal's eggs, wrapped in plastic bags, marinating in the plastic tub. When working at Erlina, right, at Badenjuona, he couldn't because he wants to pray on time. And there are many buyers, and over there Faisal would also meet many people with so many voices from people outside, which maybe Faisal hasn't, hasn't understood, and he could be carried away by them. It looks like Faisal is going to be working at home. Thank God, I'm very happy. Faisal sits cross-legged on the floor, holding a plastic carton of finished eggs. The camera zooms in on the carton, which has a label reading, Mr. Faisal. Hussein plays the drums as the song ends and then sets his drumsticks down. Text on black screen reads, Copyright 2022, Yoga Smara Foundation. All rights reserved. Made with support from the Disability Justice Project and the Disability Rights Fund.